Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 1, Lesson 4, Introduction to Blueprints. The objectives for this lesson are to describe the purpose of blueprints as a visual scripting language, describe the purpose of a blueprint in reference to an asset, define what a class is, and we're going to discuss a few of the base classes included in Unreal Engine, which are actor, pawn, and character. And then at the end of this lesson, we're going to start our first project, which is called Ball Maze. As we can see here from this definition found in the Unreal Engine documentation, the Blueprint Visual Scripting System is a complete gameplay scripting system that uses a node base interface to create gameplay elements within Unreal Editor. As with many common scripting languages, it is used to define object-oriented classes or objects in the engine. As you use UE4 or UE5 in our case, you'll often find that objects defined using Blueprint are colloquially referred to as Blueprints. So let's define some of these things you may have not heard before. Visual scripting is programming elements graphically instead of textually, and you do this using nodes. A node is a pre-built block of code that can be used in a Blueprint graph to create gameplay functionality. And a graph is a group of nodes within a blueprint. Here we can see a very basic implementation of a blueprint graph, which has an event node on the left. And on the right, we have a print string node, which will print something to the user's screen. So if this was our blueprint, when we begin play of our game, it is going to print hello Unreal Developer to the player's screen. This is a photo I found on Reddit that shows some very poor blueprint practices. Uh, this is not human readable, and I would argue even the person that wrote this doesn't necessarily know exactly what everything's doing. In this course, I'm hoping to teach you a lot of ways to stay away from this type of messy blueprint so that your code can be human readable and easily accessible by others. So what is a blueprint when we refer to it as an asset? Well, a blueprint asset defines a class within Unreal Engine. And again, I have a definition from the Unreal Engine documentation. Blueprints are special assets that provide an intuitive node-based interface that can be used to create new types of actors and script level events, giving designers and gameplay programmers the tools to quickly create and iterate gameplay from within Unreal Editor without ever needing to write a line of code. A class is one of the core principles of object-oriented programming which is a type of programming that is often used in game development. Each class contains methods, which are verbs, and variables, which are nouns. So if we were to define a car class, some methods may be turn on the ignition, turn off the ignition, press the gas, press the brake. Some variables or attributes of a car would be the fuel capacity, top speed, color, make, model, and many others. In Unreal Engine, there's a few base classes that are already built into the engine that you'll use commonly. And we'll go over a lot more in a future lesson, but for this lesson, we'll just stick to a couple. We have the object, which is the base class in Unreal Engine. Everything in the engine is an object. We have an actor, which is an object that can be placed or spawned into the world. We have a pawn, which is an actor that can be possessed and received input from a controller. We have a character, which is a type of pawn that includes a movement component. And a component, or an actor component in that case, is a reusable block of code that can be added to an actor. Let's put some of this to practice. We're going to start a new project called Ball Maze. And in Ball Maze, we're going to start simple. The goal of our game is to have the player control a ball actor to navigate through a maze. The win condition is when a player reaches the end of the maze, the next maze will load. And when the player reaches the end of the final maze, the player will get a message and the game will reset. I'm back in the Epic Launcher. And again, I'm going to launch Unreal Engine 5.0.3. I'm gonna select Game, Blank Project, Blueprint, Desktop, Maximum, Starter Content On, Ray Tracing Off. And again, we're gonna select the location that we want our project to go. And this project we're gonna call Ball Maze. And we're gonna to continue to develop this game over the next few lessons. So if you would like, this is a great time to start following along. Now that our project has opened, we can see again, we have that base scene and we're gonna create our first class in Unreal Engine. And to do that, we can right click in the content browser and select 
blueprint class. And here we can see some of those classes that we just discussed, along with some other ones that we'll discuss in future lessons. For our first class, we're going to select pawn. And we want to name this pawn, and we're going to use bp for blueprint underscore player. I can open up this blueprint by double clicking it, and then I can dock it by grabbing the tab and dragging it up here next to my level viewer. Now, if you see a blueprint that opens up like this, don't be alarmed. We just want to click open full blueprint editor. And then we'll see this view here or the event graph. So let's go through a few of these things. The viewport allows us to see a visual representation of our blueprint if there is a visual representation to be seen. Along the left side, there's the components section, which gives us a list of all the components in our actor class. And below that, there's the my blueprint section, which gives us a list of all of the event graphs, functions, macros, variables, event dispatchers, and other things. And we'll go through some of these throughout this course, but for right now, you just need to know this is where this is. Along the top, we can see class settings, which gives us some information about the base class and class defaults, which we can change for this specific actor. If we select a component on that class, it gives us some details on that specific component. I can place one of my actors into my scene by clicking it and dragging it into the scene. And we'll see here that this gives us a representation that this is going to be put into the scene. And now you see that it is now over here in my outliner, there is BP underscore player, but there's nothing to it. So let's add a visual representation. Back in my blueprint editor under components, I can select add and then sphere. If it doesn't show up, you can type sphere. And now our actor has a sphere added. If I compile and go back to my scene, I can now see that sphere in my scene. I can also assign a material because we included the starter content. We do have some materials. So I'm going to make a nice gold ball by typing gold. You can look through some of the other materials and now we can see that our ball has been made gold. If we compile, go back to our scene, the one in our scene is now gold as well. So making any changes to the blueprint will affect all of those actors in the scene and any further ones that you spawn. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about inputs and we'll get to start moving this ball around the level.